So in the world of storage, there are thousands of different options and combinations you can go down to store your data. Whether you go SSDs or hard drives, internal or external, NASs or local storage, the list goes on and on. But the question today is, is a notebook 2.5 inch drive better or in any way equal to its bigger desktop counterparts? Today we're going to answer that. <laughs> Hey guys, Super Modi here, back in that video, and we are answering the sort of question that I've had for quite a long time, but never really got round to testing. Now, the ideas are pretty simple. I mean, they're both hard drives, they're both going computers, and they're both from exactly the same WD Black lineup, so theoretically, they should be about the same, right? Well, that's exactly what I thought, but the test will actually reveal some actual differences here. So for testing today, we thought we could get two similar drives until I looked at my drive shelf and figured out I didn't exactly have two of the exact same drives in notebook and desktop versions. We did, however, have two from the same brand and two from the same lineup, being the WD Black lineup. So that's what we use for today's testing. Now, I also too found when doing my research for this video that a lot of notebook drives actually favor lower power consumption and puts performance in a secondary position to that whole power and heat output. So I was already expecting not exactly the best speeds out of these particular drives. I was unable, to, however, to find exactly the same models, but we got as close as possible. So on the laptop side, we got a 750 gigabyte internal hard drive from WD Black lineup, and our desktop is a one terabyte black from, again, WD. Our our test bench consisted of an i7-980X at 4.7 GHz with the thermal take water 3.0 cooler, so it's the uh, big triple 120 mil version. We also do pair it up with 16 GB of RAM from G-Skills in their Rip Jaw Z lineup and a 980 Ti. Now this is obviously completely overkill and also too our boot drive was a Kingston Fury SSD, so fully overkill for transferring some files, but better to be overkill than not enough. Now we did some different scenarios, we tested game loading time, also two crystal disk speeds for our synthetics and real world file transfer between the SSD and the hard drive to see what it would be like to transfer files to these and remove them from these without any bottlenecks from the other side. And we'll kick things off with the crystal disk results. On the desktop side we found ourselves with the reads of 140 and the writes of 140.2 so pretty symmetrical either way on that side. And on the notebook side we found ourselves 115 on the reads and 91 on the writes. So quite a lot slower than its desktop counterpart. So onto some real world testing and we use GTA for this for a number of reasons. Number one, it already is quite a large game at like 60 gigabytes at the moment so it's definitely got some storage needed there. On top of that, load times are a little bit slower in my opinion than many other games out there. So we use that because even on my system full of SSDs, I still notice some loading time. So we tested both of these here. On our bigger desktop hard drive, we found ourselves 50 seconds on the load time and on the smaller notebook drive we found over a minute in load time so with over 20 or so seconds of actual difference between the two there is a real world notice when it comes to games but with that being said just in sort of day-to-day -day usage going through word documents opening up the os and those kind of things i found no real issue especially running windows 10 with the more optimization options that are out now thanks to all the patches that microsoft has been doing both of these drives did perform just great when it came to sort of this day-to-day -day usage and you couldn't really tell the difference. The only difference was in benchmarks and obviously when you're going ahead and testing. Obviously our final tests were the sort of just speed numbers, testing files here and there and the numbers do speak for themselves where it does continue to look like the notebook hard drive is still at a disadvantage but this is with a good reason. The reason for this is the notebook hard drive is running quite a bit slower than our desktop counterpart at a lower RPM meaning it's going to be able to do things a lot slower than what the faster spinning drive can actually do. Now with that being said I could have gone ahead and picked another drive up that would have been the same 7200 RPM as our desktop drive, but I do have to say that if you're shopping for two drives, if you're just looking at WD Black hard drive and a WD Black hard drive, you're probably going to be shopping rather than sort of seeing exactly how much cash and what kind of speeds it has. So with that being said, you could probably do your research and find a drive that outperforms your desktop counterpart, but for the sake of simplicity for this video, we'll just stick with what we have here today. So then the question, is there a benefit of buying a smaller laptop drive to go ahead and use in your desktop? And the answer is pretty simple here, no. It's not really much better and 
I can't really find any reason why you would actually go ahead and do that. Unless you're trying to save space or save heat for some reason or not use as much power, that might be a reason to go down the notebook lineup, but also two things like capacities on the desktop hard drive space is going to be a lot bigger with capacities up to six and eight terabytes at the time of recording and obviously down in the future, we're gonna get a lot more there as you're kind of restricted as to how many platters you can actually fit in one of these smaller drives. Not to mention, well, you're using less power and that might be helpful, but less power means you're gonna be running at slower speeds, so overall performance is definitely gonna be stuck there. So overall, I can't exactly find a real reason why you would pick one of these smaller drives over a large drive other than cost savings if there's an incredible sale, or maybe you're trying to fit it in a space that maybe hard drive shouldn't really be going. But if you're doing that, you probably wanna be looking into an SSD as vibrations and actual physical moving parts don't like not being secured. So I guess if you are into sort of saving power and those kind of things, you might wanna look into them. But for everyone else out there, your standard good old desktop hard drive should serve you just fine. Though yes, I do know that you could probably go ahead and find a better performing notebook drive that could offer a better comparison here in this scenario. But once again, for the simplicity of this video, we're just gonna stick with these. But on another note, Curious.com offers thousands of online lessons to go ahead and teach you anything from baking a cake to playing with hard drives, you could say, or even building your first computer. With thousands of online courses available and new lessons going up every single day and their library rapidly growing, you'll never have nothing to learn. So guys, sign up today with the link bit.do slash cpmoda and get yourself a free week trial with no credit card required. If you like their service and like what they're doing, subscribe for just $17.19 a month. But for cpmoda viewers, you guys get to save 20% off that with our link bit.do slash cpmoda. So Use that to sign up and you can get your free trial and also to go ahead and use that to purchase and you guys get a saving and we get a kickback when you use that link. So on that note, guys, like or dislike the video accordingly. Let me know if you can personally tell the difference between the two different drives and also to let me know if you are using an internal little hard drive drive for your main desktop. Also to give us a like if you want to see a video not too far away from now comparing like 20 different drives to get an average between desktop and laptop drive performance where we get like 20 notebook drives and 20 desktop drives and just go head to head and see what we get. Other than that guys, give us a sub if you're excited for that video and I'll see you all next time for another video.